Hey yo, welcome back to the Dugget and Beyond. So we got this weekend, we have the Tour Championship for the PGA Playoffs FedEx Cup. Um, we have, in our course, previous winner for the BMW Championship in Olympia Field, Illinois, was Victor Hovland, who, um, if you saw my last video, he set the course record at a 61, having 10 birdies on the final round, having three in the top, in the first nine, and then we have him going uh, back to back a couple times, 10, 11, and 12 back to back birdies, and then we have 14, 15 birdies, and then we, he finished off the round 17 and 18 on birdies. So huge congrats to him. He was definitely a little bit of the a back a back burner for this last tournament for a good amount of it until about about halfway through the um, last nine, where he kind of was just like, all right. He can actually do this. He can actually win this tournament right now. He was sneaking up on Fitzpatrick and Scheffler, who were um, the main focus of this tournament throughout the entire thing, who were up at um, basically first and second, or um, most of the time, a lot of the time, Scheffler was first by himself. But in the end, it came out with uh, Hovland, and it's setting up him, him up for second place in... Uh, the standings right now, to um, as the standings are, with Scheffler, Hovland, McElroy, Rom, and Glover, the top five. And we have um, Glover, of course, was one of the basically kind of long shots to win the, some of these tournaments, but came out and won back-to-back -back, um, tournament just recently, which, um, of course, levels you up very fast, of, um, winning multiple. And um, we have, of course, right be right ahead of him is John Rom, who has won a number of them actually this year. Um, he's won, f had four wins this year, and I think we're back. Some of them were back to back, but um, yeah, also finished ten times in the top ten this year. So definitely very good and um, standings right now to be in. Of course, in the top, that's where you want to be. Usually, top five of any sport you are. Doing very well for yourself, and we have uh, this weekend. We have coming up in East Lake, Georgia. Um, Georgia. We have the Tour Championship. Who the last pre previous winner uh, was Roy McIlroy, who is currently third right now. So definitely setting himself up. Also nice for a possible win and possible repeat from from that. But I want to talk about a couple of notables that are in the bottom of the list right now. We have here. Uh, at 27, 28 and 29, we have Tyrell Hatton and Jordan Spieth, who basically kind of snuck themselves in this year to uh, the playoff spot. Um, a playoff spot this year. We have Hatton coming in and finishing seven times in the top ten. No wins though this year, but uh, definitely, of course, yet being in the talks a lot. If you're um, seven times in the top ten, we also have and. and I want to talk a little bit about his little people were going to say uh, some people are going to want to say a little outburst, but you got to see some energy like that sometimes in the uh, tour, especially with sports like golf and even like tennis. I I even refer to referring now as like um, a Nick Kyrgios of golf, even though yes, Nick Kyrgios has done it multiple times. He's kind of known for the whole big uh, sometimes yelling and stuff, but you got to have some. Show the good energy uh, once in a while in those sports. Show that you're really like, holy crap, like, I'm here for a lot of money. I'm here to win. I'm here to win in front of millions of people. So his little outburst, what he did, whatever he did, um, I like to see it. It's nice and fun. Uh, it reminds me of Happy Gilmore. Uh, if you have not seen that movie, definitely recommend it. Um, great movie, a classic. Um, it's a... If you're a big fan of um, of Tom Hanks, or not Tom Hanks, um, um, blanking on the guy, blanking on his name right now, but definitely amazing movie. Um, Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler. Of course, if you know him from many older movies, you know his work. Great movie, absolutely recommend it. Watch, watch it before the uh, watch the next couple days and before the tour. And hey, good good little golf weekend for you, especially with the tour championship. But yeah, uh, and then we have Spieth here, just at um, below him at 27. He has finished, I think it was seven, um, seven, t seven times in the top 10 also, and no win. So basically, the exact, literally the exact same basically as Tom um, Hatton. 
But yeah, for someone like Spieth, who's been kind of he, he's always been at the top for the most part for the last about decade. He, he turned pro in 2012, so he um, definitely has been in the talks of being a great golfer, but he's never been able to really. He's never been able to push past and been on that level of like say like Tiger Woods or Mickelson or um, one of those guys but he's been always in that conversation of possibly being one of the greatest or near the near the greatest golfers right now but he's never been able to just solidify himself like McElroy, um has done so well in the past but uh, yeah this has been a great great um, season so far and of course last one coming up right here but yeah this is going to be a for the championship we have um, coming up, we have some big, it's kind of a big jump, sort of. So we have Scheffler, uh, there's no honest win for Scheffler right now, but Hovland we have him at 25, um, 275, plus 275, sorry, wow, tongue twi um, weird tongue twister. We have a McElroy at plus 200. And we have John Rom at five plus five hundred, and then there's a big jump for Glover to plus twenty five hundred, and then it kind of um, does little waves here sixteen uh, eleven hundred three three thousand um, twenty five hundred. So it definitely fluctuates once you get past the top four or five. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a great tournament coming up, and. Uh, so look out for the updates on it throughout the week, and I'll see um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.